Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. Today, we're going to be working on episode 3 of our Electron tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be learning about creating a browser window, displaying an HTML file on it, and a few tricky slash neat little properties we can do um, to make our app better, more alive, um, and just show you some cool things you can do with Electron. So, let's get started. Now, I have the exact same folder layout as last time. Uh, nothing's changed except for I got rid of the previous episode's content. And what I'm going to want to do, because it'll be really helpful for future episodes, is I'm just going to create a new folder called source. I'm just going to throw this index.js file into that folder. And then in the package.json, I'm just going to do source slash index.js. Since, again... Um, we've changed the uh, location of our entry file. So now that that's out of the way, all we would have to do is we can now do something like this, where we do npm start, and as you'll see, nothing changes, our app runs, and we just hang because um, we're not doing anything. So now that we have that out of the way, what we're gonna wanna do is actually create a window. And how do you do that? Well, with Electron, we have a new property we can bring in, and it's actually a class called Browser Window. And what this is, is it's a Chromium browser instance we're gonna be working with. So what does that mean, Chromium Shromium? So we have um, this browser, and what I'm gonna wanna do is create a variable called Window. I'm just gonna set it to nothing by default. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Window is equal to a new browser window. Now. If you're wondering why I did this inside of this main function is because we have to wait for the application to be ready. So in the previous episode, I talked all about the app properties and one of them I talked about was this dot when ready function. We don't want to create a browser window until the application's ready because it'll throw an error. So we wait till we're ready. And that's why I'm doing it in here. Now this browser window object, it takes in an object during the constructor. And the object is simply the settings you want to give to the window. I'll give you an example. Width is one setting we might want to set. I'll say width is 800. Now this refers to px for 800 pixels. I'll set the height to again, um, I'll do 600. And again, this is px. So these values are in pixels. Um, another value we could set is uh, resizable and I'll set this to false by default to show you that you can create windows that are not resizable all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna run npm start and what you'll see is we get a window that's very nice right it has a title of electron series and you'll see it shows up in the bar down here I can come up here and click on the X button and it'll close out of the application now, what if we want to load content into our window? Because right now, we're not actually loading anything. Instead, we're just showing a window with no HTML file. Well, what we can do is we can do window, down here, dots, load file. And this function takes in a path to a file. And this is an HTML file we're gonna wanna load. So I'm gonna do path, um, which I'm gonna import, so up here, I'm going to do path is equal to require path. And what we're going to do is path.join, which is a simple function for making URLs work between platforms. So we're going to join the directory name and the slash source, or no, no, slash index.html. And we haven't actually created that file, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come into my source folder since that's the same directory that this script will be running in. And I'm gonna create a index.html file. I'm gonna do exclamation point tab, which is an Emmet abbreviation, which just simply creates a basic HTML boilerplate. And I'm gonna type in, hello, this is my app in the title. And I'll show you what that does. And then I'll just create an H1 that says, hello world. Now, all, after we have all these things done, we're gonna to wanna to save, and what you'll see is that if I do npm start again, we will now get an application that says, hello, this is my app in the title. So when you change the title in HTML, what happens is 
this is the actual title that's displayed down here, right here, and the title that's displayed up top, right here. And then as you can see, we have our H1 tags. So this is how we can create an application. But I wanna show you a few other little things um, that you might find useful with your browser window uh, in the future. One thing is see how I made the app non-resizable. As you can see, I cannot resize it. In fact, I can't even full screen it. So that's cool if you want that for your app. What if I wanna be able to full screen it, but not, you know, I wanna be able to resize it. And one thing you could do is you can then set this to true, but you can do um, maximizable to false. And this does exactly what it sounds like. It sets the ability to maximize, but you can see I can now resize the application, okay? So that's useful. Um, one thing you might wanna do is be able to handle resize events. So whenever window, we can do window dot on, and here we can listen for a whole bunch of events, scrolls, gestures, and as you can see right at the top, resized. And this is a useful event because it gives access to um, the new positions and coordinates of the window. So what I can do is I can do console.log window.get, um, trying to remember what it is, it's window.get, get bounds, that's what it is. I don't have IntelliSense, so. So window.get bounds, and what this will do is it will give us the actual x, y coordinates as well as the position of our window. And what you'll see is when I resize it, we get an x, y position, and we get the width and height. So as you can see, if I make this further down, the y is gonna go up, and that's because the x position is a normal x axis, zero on the left to the size of your monitor on the right, but on the top uh, for the y axis, it actually is inverted. So the higher the number, the further down you are. For example, if I resize it, and here you'll see the Y is 289. And that's because this is 289 pixels from the top. If I move it all the way up, it'll be 18, really small. And as you notice, if I move the app, nothing's changing. So what if we wanna do the same thing, but for moved? And that is a uh, listen event. So you can do moved. And again, I'm gonna to have to restart the application every time we make a change. Um, I'll show you in the next episode how we can actually fix that, but I do have to show it. So when I move the app, you can see I get um, new X, Y coordinates. So this is really useful. And these are all things you're gonna to wanna to do for your application. Say you wanna know where the user left the application last time they used the device, this is what you could do. You can say, have the application window over here and then save it in storage, which again, I'll show in a future episode, and it just makes the experience a lot better. Okay, so one last thing I'm gonna to wanna to show you is how we can actually get rid of the ugly title bar up here. So you can see this bar right here, right? This black bar. I don't think it looks too good. Um, and also we don't want people to like look at the developer tools if we don't want stuff like that. So how do you hide this little bar? Um, well, what we can do is do auto hide menu bar inside of the um, browser window and set this to true. And this auto hide menu bar is gonna hide the menu bar. Now you can still press the alt key to actually show it, but in the future I can show you how we can also disable that. And as you can see, the black menu bar is now gone, which means we have a totally white background and our Electron application. So that is all for today's episode. In the next episode, we'll dive more into browser window and how to actually have a frameless window, which means none of these buttons will be up here, and also how to change your icon. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you later. Peace.